ஹலோ வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆர் இன் என்ஜாயிங் த வீடியோஸ் டுடே ஐம் பேக் வித் அனதர் ப்ராப்ளம் ஃப்ரம் ரீட் கோட் சர்க்குலர் பர்மிட்டேஷன்ஸ் இன் பைனரி ரெப்ரஸன்டேஷன் கிவன் டூ இன்டீரியர்ஸ் என் அண்ட் ஸ்டார்ட் யுவர் டாஸ்க் இஸ் ரிட்டர்ன் எனி பர்மிட்டேஷன் பி எஃப் ஜீரோ டூ டூ பவர் என் மைனஸ் ஒன் சச் தட் பி எஃப் ஜீரோ இஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் பி எஃப் ஐ இஸ் இக்வல் டு அண்ட் பி எஃப் ஐ ப்ளஸ் ஒன் டிஃபர் பை only one bit in their representation p of 0 and p of 2 power n minus 1 must also differ by on one bit in their binary representation so that is a thing so uh, if we uh, closely look at an example right the example 1 n is equal to 2 so that means the number of bits in a given number are 2 and the start is given as 3 so the number 3 is a start so if you represent the numbers from uh, 0 to 2 power n minus 1 in this case n is 2 right so 0 to 3 it will be 2 power n minus 1 right 2 power n is 2 square minus 1 that is 3 so 0 to 3 these are four numbers so the binary representation for 0 is 2 zeros 0 0 for 1 it is 0 1 for 2 it will be 1 0 for 3 it will be 1 1 so that is the binary representation but here the task is uh, the permutation such that each each element should be differing by one bit in their binary representation so uh, the output is 3 3 2 0 1 right so th- th- this is what the representation is for 3 it is 2 ones right for 2 it is 1 0 so the the difference here between these two numbers is the last bit is changed so that is how the difference should be right so between two consecutive numbers there is one bit different so in here so there is one bit different so the first bit is changed to 0 and for the last two numbers the last bit is changed from 0 to 1 so if you look entirely right so from one to number to the next number there is exactly one change that is happening so this is one of the valid permutations 3 2 0 1 so there is one more permutation that is also possible is 3 1 0 2 so that's what is given so likewise uh, depending on the n given and the start given right we will have to come up with this kind of binary representation and there are some constraints given basically so n will be uh, anywhere from 1 to 16 and the start will be anywhere from 0 to 2 power n minus 1 actually it should be right so it should yeah it's it's not equal right so it should be less than 2 power and okay so um, basically what we are going to do here is we are going to look at something called gray code uh, we will go look into what is gray code in in deep okay so the the idea is to build the uh, array for the gray code for n bits so since we are saying we are given with two inputs right one is n and another one is start so for n is we are going to build n bits and rotate the list or array from where the start is occurring so first thing is we'll have to try to build the gray code so we'll see what the gray code is actually is right so gray code is nothing but a series of numbers where you have uh, the consecutive numbers are differ by one bit right so gray code is nothing but you have a series of numbers where each consecutive two numbers are differ by one single bit in their binary representations that is what we are going to come up with first and then once we have that uh, already in place right then it is easy for us to rotate the array by putting the start as the first occurrence that's it so that's a basic idea so step 1 is we are going to do build the gray code for that for one bit try to understand so let's try to understand for one bit what is the gray code 0 and 1 that's it 
there are no m more bits right so for the one for single bit it could be either 0 or 1 for two bits what we are going to do is uh, we are going to build a recursive logic here so we are going to build starting we are going to build what will be the gray code for n bits by using n minus 1 bits so we are building gray code for n bits by using the gray code for n minus 1 bits so for 2 bits, we are going to build on the gray code from the gray code that we obtained for 1 bit. So for gray code for 1 bit is 0, 1. That's the gray code. So now, take the n minus 1 bits gray code. So in this case, 2 bits, right? So n minus 1 is 1 bit gray code. So that is 0, 1. And generate 2 arrays. So first array is prepending 0 to each element in the gray code from n minus 1 bits. So what is the n minus 1 bits? 0, 1, right? So what we are going to do is prepend 0. So prepend means add a prefix to each element and generate an array. So that is what we are doing for 1 bit array, right? 0, 1. Let's up, up, up. So for the first step, first array we are doing prepend. So what that means? It will be 0, 0 and 0, 1. So that's what is prepending. And next, second array by prepending 1 to each element, right? So what it will become, prepend 1 here, so that will be 1, 0, prepend 1 here, that will be 1, 1, right? So now, join first array and reverse of the second array. So this is first array, right? And reverse of second array, reverse of second array will be 10, so this is 1, 0, 1, 1, right? Reverse will be 1, 1 and 1, 0. So that will produce the final array for 2 bits is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, right? So this is the gray code for 2 bits. So similarly, we can go work out with what happens for 3 bits, 4 bits, 5 bits and whatever that is, right? So the, the logic is very simple, these 3 steps. So you have to prepend by 0 and prepend by 1 and generate 2 arrays join the first array with the reverse of the second array. That's it. That is the logic behind the uh, gray code generation. So, so one now that we have gray code for two bits, right? So this is the gray code. So the thing is we are given with a start, right? So that means start should be the first element in the array. That is what is the ask, right? Though that is when we move to step one. Now we have the gray code array in the binary strings. We need to convert that to the integer while converting check if the element is equal to start. So we will convert 0, 0 to back to 0, 0, 1 to back to 1 because this, this these are a binary representation, right? So we will convert back to uh, integer representation. So if the number is not found, just append to the elements list. But if the number is found, then insert the element at the index i, initialize to 0 and increment at each insert. Basically, once we find the element, right? So in this case, zero. So uh, by following these two steps, right? What we can do is, so we go through the first element, right? So it is zero. So we are preparing a list, let's just suppose. So we are adding zero. And let's say, in our case, start given as three, let's say, right? As first example, right? So we go through each element here, zero, it will be one, since if the start is not found, just up into the element list, right? That's what we are doing, right? So this is the list. And now we are at 3. 3 is equal to 1, 1 if you convert back to decimal, right? Or integer, it will be 3. So start is also 3. So when th the start is found, then insert the element at i, right? So initially i is initialized to 0, right? So what we are saying is in insert at i. So 3 will be inserted. And after that, i will be incremented, right? So that means i becomes 1, right? So next, we go through next element, 2. So 1, 0, we convert back to integer, it will become 2. So we have to insert that at index 1 now. So that index 1 is 2. So this will be at 2. So that is the final array for the gray code. Do you see? This is the answer that they are looking for. This is one of the permutations, right? So that's the logic behind. Let's go and see what is it takes 
to write the gray code, right? It's exactly the same steps that we had we have described. So, so gray code list of string answer, right? Int count is equal to zero. If n is greater than zero, add zero. If uh, and increment the count. If n is greater than one, add answer, add one to the answer and inc increment the count, right? So while count is less than or equal to n, that means this is where we are trying to build the logic of generating the gray code from n minus one level to the nth level, right? So this is what it is. So count is greater than uh, less than or equal to n. If at all count is less than or equal to n, right? It will get into this while loop. So what it is doing to do is essentially, so it is trying to append zero and append one, right? So it is trying to do append zero and append one. So after appending zero and one, right? So the answer will be the new answer. So it's, it's the same way. But the only thing is here, if you look, we are going from the first index to the last index when we are appending from zero. Here we are, since we have a step to reverse, right? Instead of doing reversal, we are going from the last element to the first element. So we don't have to actually do the reverse in this case, right? So this is essentially as good as doing the reverse. So here we are generating the uh, reverse array by prepending the one to the existing number. And finally, we are generating the new answer array. And then while count is great, less than or equal to n, this process will continue to generate the gray code. So now in ANS, the list, answer list, we have the gray code readily available, right? So now what it takes is we need to rotate the array, right? So that's what we're going to do. So even though the answer list is a string, right? But the answer that we need to return is an integer list. So that's what we are going to return. So we create an integer list and initialize the index to zero and uh, initialize the start, whether the start is found or not, right? Initially it will be false. So for each string in the answer, try to convert it to uh, integer. Once if at all x is equal to start, right? Then we will say start is found. If start is found, then we start to insert from the zeroth index and we increment the index. Otherwise, we just append to the list. Finally, we are going to return the list of the numbers that we have generated. So hope this is clear for you. It's exactly the same steps that we described here. If you go take these steps and write the code for yourself, right? It will be easy to understand. Uh, if you like the solution, please subscribe to my channel and share among your friends. If you're looking for the guidance on the uh, interviews or uh, mock interviews or one-on-one -on -one sessions, right? Please uh, leave your email in the comment section. Please click the bell icon so that you get all the future videos as updates to your email or the notifications to your mobile devices will be delivered by YouTube. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. Till then, bye.